There are a lot of videos out there that talk about the problem that Briggs and Stratton engines have with the compression release mechanism on the camshaft. Um, I'm not going to redo that part. It, it is an issue on these engines, and I thought it was an issue on this one. I was wrong. Um, what it wound up being was kind of a couple of things. Uh, first and foremost was that my exhaust valve was out of adjustment. Some of the videos you're going to watch, and Chicanic has a really good one, you know, where she mentions, you know, check your, your valve lash before you tear into the engine and uh, buy a camshaft and all that. Uh, I didn't because I was sure it was a camshaft. I was incorrect. The camshaft was fine. So I took all that apart and put it back together for no reason. Uh, then checked the valve lash and found out that I was at like probably 17 or 18 thousandths on the exhaust valve, which was way too much to allow that little compression release gizmo on the camshaft to activate the valve. But the reason that was happening uh, was because I had a severe vibration in this engine. So even if I was uh, setting that valve lash properly, the engine would vibrate so much after four or five minutes if you shut it off and try to pull start it again, valve back out of adjustment. So I'll cut to the chase. The reason that was happening was because this blade <laughs> completely <clears throat> worn out. And here's what the new one looks like. That old one was completely worn out. There you get a good feel for just how worn this old one was. And it was worn and it was extremely out of balance. And it was uh, shaking this poor little lawnmower apart. Um, this whole front part here was coming loose from the deck. Had to tighten all that back down. It was just a mess. And in fact, once you would get it started, these, the engine would be running and the entire mower was scooped this way. It was insane. So I finally figured it out. Got the new blade on there. It pulls starts smoothly and easily. Uh, it runs smoother. It runs a little bit slower even because you don't have that out of balance blade uh, doing wonky things to the, I guess, to the whole balance and rotating of the entire engine. So since you're here, I'm gonna check the valve lash on these. In fact, I'll show you what you should be able to see if things are working properly. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this string. The exhaust valve is on top that has the compression release on it. Obviously, that's intake. Okay, now watch just for the tiniest amount of movement here. See that? That's it, that's the compression release. Now we're on our compression stroke. Okay, and that was our exhaust. Now our intake goes down, and now there we have just a little bump on the exhaust. Compression. We get rid of the exhaust, the intake goes down, intake comes back closed, and then the exhaust goes down just a skosh and comes back up and this only works when you are pull starting the engine as soon as the engine starts running that little spring-loaded lobe on the camshaft on the exhaust side it will once the engine starts going up to speed it will fly back up and out of the way so that it no longer activates the valve and then when the engine shuts off the spring pushes that little lobe closed and then as you're pull starting it will hit that uh, lifter as you're pull starting it to release that compression so it's a little smoother to pull. So that's how it works in a nutshell. Okay and so here I've got a, a 4,000 feeler gauge and it's pretty tight. There you go. So I set it down about 4,000 which is probably a little snug. I think the intake side, yeah I'm about 6,000 probably on that. Um, but for this engine that seems to be where it's happiest and and it's a real easy procedure you just put a, a 
closed end boxed end, boxed end wrench on here and I think it was the T15 goes in here so you're gonna loosen this guy up tighten your nut down wherever you need it and then tighten this back and that's it for the adjustment but you know I was surprised on this one I really thought uh, with the I didn't know much about that compression release mechanism I uh, really thought it was just going to be the camshaft all the way through, and it wasn't on this at all. It was fine. So I put all that back together. Um, I guess what I'm saying is check the easy stuff first. If I had looked at this blade, obviously I would have known um, to start with that, especially with the extreme vibration this thing had. But anyway, good luck.